Hey guys, this is Bharatwaj with phonearena.com and I have the Galaxy Note 3 in my hands. We unboxed it recently. If you haven't checked that video, do check it out. So we are going to demo you a quick hands-on of the Air Command feature that uh, comes with the stylus, the S Pen of the Note 3. So this is the Air Command feature and uh, you can actually trigger this again by pressing this button when you, you know, using uh, the UI normally. As you know by now, in the Note and Note 2, there's the hover feature which will detect the Note even though when it's not touching the screen. So what I'm gonna do is hover over the screen and press this button and it'll automatically open the Air Command. So you have five options in Air Command. We're gonna show them one by one. So first up, you have uh, Action Memo. So this is pretty simple. You can see that the uh, memos are actually actions you can link memos to actions so what i'm going to do is uh, write some numbers and then link them uh, to an action which will be showing me uh, a bunch of options so we're going to see that now bunch of random numbers here all right so i'm going to link them to an action uh, you can actually select a specific part of the memo by drawing a line around it so it already selected all the numbers, so you can directly either call, add as a contact, message, email, search in the net. You can also tag it with geotags and of course add it to the memo just like that. There's also the other feature which lets you minimize the whole uh, action memo window so it does not come in between uh, your other app usages. So you can move it around and place it anywhere and then open it. So just minim uh, minimizing that window actually. And then of course you can resize it or add a new page and so on. So pretty simple, uh, but uh, you know, you can link the numbers to actions. That's it. That's the action memo and you can just, you know, like sticky notes, uh, use it and save it too. So let's move on to the second thing and that is Scrapbooker. This is a simple screenshot app that will save, you know, parts of uh, a window, a borderline window and it will uh, save it on your device. This includes YouTube videos too. So if you wanna save a thumbnail, you can actually do that. So I'm gonna do that. Op open up the uh, YouTube window. First, let me deactivate the uh, ad command thing. All right, so I'm gonna uh, open the YouTube app. Let it load some video. And I'm gonna open the uh, scrapbooker and draw an area around the place where I'm gonna take a screenshot. So. Here's the place I want to take a screenshot of. Now it's automatically stored. The thumbnail with the image is stored in my scrapbook. That's the uh, point of uh, this. You can also do it for other videos and you know, of course, uh, bigger content. So I'm gonna select both. Let's see which ends up as the screenshot. Both ended up at this, as the screenshot. So that's pretty cool, uh, but you can do only pictures. Uh, and of course, you know, write memos along with it. So that's the scrapbook uh, option of the Air Command menu. So let's move on to some other thing. And uh, the third one is screen write. What screen write does is takes a screenshot and then lets you scribble over it. So this is pretty normal. We have seen th this uh, very similar in LG devices. It actually overlays on the window, but this actually take, takes a screenshot and lets you overlay on a window. For example, if you're opening a maps location, uh, you can do this. We'll just run through the new maps. We're just opening the maps, so bear with us. Let's open up the air command using the screen right. I'm going to take a snapshot of this already and mark this location as, you know, home. And then you can of course share it or erase it or crop it. So you can do all image manipulation actions with this. So that's the use of uh, screen write on the air command. So let's move on to the next one. Next one is S Finder. So this is not a stylus action. This is just a search, a system wide search that can do all sorts of stuff inside the phone. So you can also search on the web, but then this is almost like spotlight for Samsung phones. That is S Finder. You can uh, probably, you know, search for anything. Let's type photos 
and it will say apps you have photos as apps and then you have help and you can also search the web so this is pretty similar to what uh, spotlight does in apple phones so that's uh, s finder and of course you have the last one which is the most important one we would say it's pen window you can actually draw a window in any size anywhere on the screen and you can access the multi window apps in that small window that's really cool this is the selection of apps that is currently available for multi window so i'm going to select uh, youtube here again and it has opened up as a mini app how cool is that it's actually interactive and of course you can move it you can minimize it you can obviously expand it to the full app so that's pretty cool i'm going to open up the video and try to play it this is completely happening inside the small window so that's pretty cool that's an excellent feature pen window you can actually have more let's try one more so i'm going to have a calculator here so this is like real windowed multitasking on a phone you can have a calculator and you know calculate the number of likes or number of views or whatever man you can do anything on uh, simultaneously on this phone so you have a 5.7 inch screen and you can actually take advantage of the windowed apps this is pretty damn cool and what samsung done here is really cool we out of all the features we like this the most and that concludes the demo of the air command feature of the s pen on the samsung galaxy note 3 So yeah that's about it do hit the like button if you like this video and like all the features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 lots more videos are coming up so stay tuned and do hit the subscribe button for all those videos thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below